All right, guys. We're trying out a new uh, seasoning day on some ribs, and we're also going to do some pork tenderloin out on the smoker. Uh, this is a uh, 41 South Sweet Uncle T's Game Changer. It says it goes good on ribs and chicken. So we're going to try it out, give it a go. I've already got the pit fired up out there. Uh, I'll bring y'all back when I'm throwing these on there. These ribs are looking good. That season, it's got a pretty color to it. It's got some big chunks of pepper and like onion and garlic in it. So it looks good on there, but it's got enough uh, paprika. It really gives it that good red color that everybody likes. We're gonna get these ribs thrown on here. Pits up the temp. I'll just start these off in the middle here. We'll uh, get this thing shut back down. I'm gonna put the uh, pork tenderloin here in a little bit. It's uh, this wood giving me a little bit of problems. I just split it the other day. It's been down for about a year, but it's still holding a little bit of moisture. So I've been really having to play with the fire today, but it's uh, it's coming along. It's just, uh, it's cooking a little. Uh, the fire's burning a little, not quite as hot as it usually does, but we got a little fire going in there. As soon as I get this, this cold bed's been going for, I've had the fire going for about an hour and a half, and we're just now getting a really good cold bed. Like I said, this wood's still got just a little bit of moisture in it but I'm dealing with it so pit might not rock as hot as it usually does until I get a really uh, good bed of coals built up in there but stay with me we'll bring you back here in a bit all right we're gonna throw these tenderloins on here oh yeah it's about time to start spritzing that This has got that same season, that 41 South on there. Pretty excited to try it out. It looks really good. Looks like it does a really good job. All I'm spritzing with is a little bit of water today. Boy, it's looking good in there. Looking real good. All right, I'll close it back up and let it keep smoking. So update on these ribs. I don't know if I'm gonna wrap these or not. I just checked out the bottom side of them and it's not really burning. That's usually the only reason I wrap ribs is to stop the bone in from burning but man i've this pit's been running a little uh cooler today because of this wood that i've got and it's uh it's not really burning anything on the bottom these things have been on for close to four hours so i might just finish up to cook unwrapped I, like i said this wood uh, that I cut the other day has been a little bit I mean it's right on the verge of having too much water in it but man it is super close so I've been just uh, trying to really manage this fire super close I mean it it's been a little bit of a struggle to be honest but the uh, the temperatures i've been getting out of it are great uh i've been running just a little bit cooler than i normally run this pit's probably been running anywhere from it's been just shy of 250 all day so the the ribs have really been cooking low and slow all day and 
I don't think I'm gonna have to wrap them to be honest and I'm okay with that I, I don't mind not wrapping stuff those pork tenderloins are looking great they've actually got some grill marks on the bottom side um, I just flipped them over but stay with me if if I feel like the bottom side's getting a little too dark on those ribs I'll wrap them up but if not I'm just gonna leave them be and uh, finish fi just finish them out plain on the grill and that's okay with me so uh, I'll bring y'all back when either uh, this stuff's finished up or if I need to wrap so just a little update I decided to wrap everything uh, it's not that it was getting burnt but I didn't want to risk the chance of burning the bottom side those ribs have been on for almost five hours they're getting close anyways i just decided to protect them for this last little bit and those pork tenderloins they were probing about uh, 145 150 so they're getting close anyways so i decided to wrap them up also they they weren't even close to being uh dark or anything like that but i just decided to wrap up and finish this cook off like that but all, only thing I've been spritzing with today is water um, and the fire like I said I've been keeping it the way this fire has been burning with this wood that's a little bit wetter it's been about 225 250 something like that so it's been I usually run about 250 to 300 when I cook but this woods not really letting me do that today but I've also not had a problem with having to worry about anything burning either so stay with me and I'll show you all the finished product these ribs look good we're about to slice them up and give them a taste test Yes, of course. Oh, it's still going. Oh. Sorry. They're looking good. Hey, I'm trying to get your nail. Give them a little taste test here. See how that seasoning turned out. It says it's sweet heat. It's kind of a more sweet. It's got a little pepper in it. It's good though. Ribs are tender. Just how you want them. Mm. That's good. Alright, we're going to slice up the pork tenderloin, see how it's looking. Ooh, buddy. Gonna let all them juices back off. Good. Oh yeah. It's got a pretty good smoke ring on it. Looks good. You can kind of taste the seasoning a little bit more on this pork tenderloin. 
I don't know why that is. This seems like it's got a little bit more of the pepper kick. Could be that I got a little heavy handed on it. Not 100% sure, but it's really good. Smoke flavor is great. The uh, Old Country uh, Brazos DLX did a great job. It's good. Sure is tender. Let's give a taste test to my helpers down here and see what they think. Tennessee, you ready? Yep. Got some tail wags on that one. Max. Oh, yeah. They said, uh, is that it? Are we getting some more? <laughs> Anyways, everything turned out good. I'm going to slice up this other pork tenderloin. Y'all have a great day. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more videos.